What is up guys, today we have a brief unboxing and review of Huawei Wi-Fi Mesh 3 system which is called X3000 whole home Wi-Fi system consists of two mesh devices powered by Harmony OS here so let's check it out what we've got here some characteristics uh, actually it's not that new device but still you can purchase it in 2025 so what they advertise here is X3000, so 3000 stands for 3000 megabits that can cover all your house, Harmony OS mesh, so based on this OS, and one touch connect is available. Let's open it up and see how it looks like. So you have the package of, here are two buttons here, Harmony, Harmony. Also, let's check it out. We have the indicator here, Wi-Fi 6 Plus is written here. NFC, so you can just scan with your phone and easily connect. From the back, you have the reset button, power button, and three customizable WAN LAN ports here. The second mesh device, actually it's uh, identical. So as you see, all here the same. At the back it's same, and the bottom even same, it's written as 3000 megabits. It says 3000 megabits wireless router here. Also, what we have inside is actually two power adapters here. Uh, power adapters for 12 volts, one ampere. So actually 12 watt here, that's what's needed. This regular actually type for connections and the cable actually just regular uh, four parts cable okay it's one gigabit one gigabit cable at least and some manual so only one cable actually is here all right so this will put aside so what's supported here is actually wi-fi 6 dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh, theoretically 5 gigahertz can reach up to 2400 megabits while uh, 2.4 gigahertz is up to 600 megabits uh, harmony os mesh plus also you have uh, to be it's actually claimed that one unit can cover up to 300 meter uh, square meters Actually, I don't know whether it's possible or not, but let's check it out. The memory is 256 gigabytes of RAM, 128 megabytes uh, of uh, ROM per unit. NFC touch to connect with comparable phone, uh, up to 250 devices. Also, it supports 2x2 MIMO standard here. So let's finally connect it and briefly test it out. Okay, so let's connect one by one. This one and the second one here. So connect the adapters and turn it on in the power socket. Okay, both of them connected. You see the red indicator. So let's connect one of them. I don't know, let's use the number one port here. Let's connect it to the internet and check whether it will connect automatically. Okay, so let's scan it and connect. You see connect to the network, that's how it's called connected so it's just basic name when it's just reset it and let's check it out whether we have internet so as for now we have both of them red one of them actually is connected let's uh, test it out what we should do okay here we have the web address so let's use it to connect uh, using my phone okay you see i'm connected agree allow automatically update get started Optical modem new router. Okay, use the network cable to connect. All right Detecting your internet access mode. So just first launch here uh, Okay, let's choose the recommended one the name Let's create some Let's create some password Very 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 simple like this Router, login password, uh, admin, let's keep. I'm fine to keep backup. The backup network can be used uh, by devices to enable to take Wi-Fi 6. Okay, let's keep it. Save. All right, so it's set up. You can leave the screen now. Okay, still. Okay. Well, as you see, internet appears. Need to reconnect, I guess. Let's reconnect it, you see. 
the new Wi-Fi name appear, connected, already Wi-Fi 6 is here. Here we have it, two of them connected, as you see at the same time, so you can put it on different distance. Let's check uh, the speed test, I have only 100 uh, giga megabits, so I don't think it will be a problem, especially in uh, such close distance. So open speed test here, click go. So actually it's quite real data, it's not real 100, but usually I get something like this on any router, so it's actually not a bad result. And I guess we are using now Wi-Fi 2.4, so let's try Wi-Fi 5 here. Actually there is no clear division between Wi-Fi uh, 5 and regular one, so let's open the router, let's input the password here. Close, so you have uh, internet settings, Wi-Fi settings, actually it's one Wi-Fi network, let's may maybe yeah make it separately, let's disable this, then you have the 5G separately, regular one separately, let's save it, confirm. Of course all those settings you can also do from your uh, laptop, but here I will do it from my phone. Okay, internet settings is just basic settings, also you got the English or desktop, let's open the desktop version. So. Here we have much more settings actually, it's connect to internet, where you can select the one WAN port connected and all the other settings. My Wi-Fi, so you, you can prioritize 5 GHz, make it separately and select the signal strength here from max, medium and low. Also manage device, so you can check which device is connected to which mesh, also you can Check, yes, it's my Galaxy S23 Ultra connected. It's connected to second mesh here, actually. Uh, more functions also available. So you can see the software version, HarmonyOS version, uh, and other settings, manage update. So you can also check what the actually current uh, software level on each of your mesh. So now the latest version. Many network settings available, virtual, private network, IPTV, UPN, Link Plus settings. You can connect several devices to support this feature, IPv6, Wi-Fi, more advanced Wi-Fi settings, all the channels available, I hope up to 13. It's not really moving quite well. Uh, also, the modes for the Wi-Fi 5 here available, also very different, make it invisible, etc. Wi-Fi access control, guest Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi timer, security settings, firewall, net, DMZ, parent control, system settings, NFC, uh, change login, password, network time, network port settings, backup, restore, developer options and applications. So actual sleep mode, power saving for Wi-Fi 6 devices, reduce the power consumed by Wi-Fi 6 devices and sleep mode using the target wake up technology. So actually quite interesting and sounds well. Also you have this device list, you can power off, power on. One is primary here, one is secondary, power off all as well. So actually that's how it works, that's what kind of settings you have. Let's move back to mobile here. I already set up the second Wi-Fi, so I don't know whether it's possible to connect. Okay, anyway, you need to enter the password. Okay, I guess I skipped Y. Okay, connected. Let's make the separate speed test here. So it's actually perfect condition. I'm the near router here and let's try it out. So as you see here are the results, now I will go to another room and make additional tests and let you know with the results. So I will go around like 10 meters from the routers, one wall and make a speed test. So you see now the results uh, like 10 meters, around 10 meters from the router, one wall, so the results a bit lower but still good. So actually to sum up, those me this mesh device can be suitable for you if you're living in a big house or big apartment like three rooms plus, or you have some, let's call it gray zone where it's very uh, bad coverage. So you can set up the second device, put it there 
and your coverage will be good also in case you want to use like two LAN devices let's say so for example from here you can also connect it directly to your laptop and you will get much uh, better connection so actually it's pretty well designed for your uh, in case you are using like your playstation you can put it just near your playstation connect it using LAN port and you will have very stable and good connection all right actually that's pretty much it thank you for watching put the thumbs up and see you next time